To bring those investors into the new projects or greenfield projects as we refer to them, it really needs a, a relook at the, the uh, credit position of those projects. And that's where credit enhancement comes in because there are a number of risks during construction that are very difficult to manage and those investors are looking for a lower risk proposition. So therefore there has to be something that can bridge the gap between um, the, the overall risk of the project and the risk that those investors are willing to take. And that's the concept of a credit enhancement, which is something which we feel therefore is a mix of public sector uh, support and intervention to support the risks that the private sector are willing to take. If you again refer back to the National Infrastructure Plan, I think the government now is becoming clearer in its view of the assets it wants to develop over the next 10 years. And I think clearly the, the sector that stands out is energy. We have constraints around um, security of supply, uh, a low carbon um, transition that needs to be met through investment in generation, in, in transmission distribution, uh, in different forms of technology. And therefore, if we look to that sector in particular, and then look at sectors within that which are um, shorter capital, have challenging risk profile, one obvious example would be the offshore wind um, sector which is struggling to, to garner the amount of investment required and, and that is a sector that has a different risk profile during construction where credit enhancement could play a big part.